Greetings to everyone. This is your host Ash Khan and you are watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel. In today's bulletin, NCOC shuts down all tourist activities during Eid holidays. In view of prevailing COVID-19 situation and anticipated increase in the tourist activities on the occasion of Eid, the National Command and Operation Center has issued new SOPs to curb the third wave of coronavirus. During NCOC's meeting on Tuesday, Federal Planning Minister Asad Umar, who also heads the NCOC, directed concerned authorities to ensure strict compliance with the newly issued guidelines. Here are all the latest SOPs issued by the NCOC. All tourist resorts, public parks, hotels, restaurants and shopping malls in and around tourist spots will remain closed from 8th to 16th of May, including the Eid holidays. Interprovincial and intercity travel will also remain suspended during the same period and travel nodes leading to tourist sports including Mari, Galiat, Sawat, Kalam, Northern areas and sea view and beaches will remain closed as well. However, local residents of tourist sports will be allowed to travel back during the Eid holidays after strict verification. Besides, NCOC has also directed relevant authorities to timely formulate and issue SOPs for Ethikaf, shab e qadr jamat ul wida and Eid ul-Fitr prayer. Government cancels all scheduled exams across Pakistan. Federal Minister for Education and Provincial Training Shafkat Mahmood has officially ordered postponement of all scheduled and unscheduled examination across Pakistan until 15th of June 2021. Following a sharp increase in COVID-19 cases, furthermore, all O and A level exams have also been cancelled and will take place during the routine October to November cycle. A2 students, on the other hand, will appear for their exams as scheduled under strict SOPs. The government has taken the decision to ensure the safety of both students and staff of public and private schools, colleges, universities and religious seminaries amid the viral outbreak. This happened when over the weekend students hyped up their request to government for postponing the exams, explaining that it was due to spike in COVID-19 cases in the country. But exams went ahead on Monday with several videos on social media showing a large number of parents gather outside exam centers and a large number of children inside examination halls. The same day, the Federal Minister for Education said that those not comfortable with the current situation could switch to October-November cycle without any extra charge and urged parents and students to take advantage of the ever-existent Cambridge policy. Shafkat Mahmood revoked his decision to allow the conduction of exams after a special meeting with the NCOC. Government to allow Facebook monetization in Pakistan soon Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government has decided to allow Facebook monetization in Pakistan. Facebook has been operating in the country for a long time but it was yet to finalize its monetization policy for Pakistan due to local restrictions. The new decision should allow people to make money through social media in Pakistan, which would prove to be useful for millions of people in the country. The resolution comes as a result of MPA Ziaul Bangash of Pakistan Tariq Saf urging the government to capitalize on the missed opportunity, which is Facebook monetization. He also revealed that the official speaker of the National Assembly had already met with Facebook officials to discuss the matter. As mentioned earlier, if this resolution is passed, it should allow millions of Pakistani users to make money directly from Facebook. There is no word on when this resolution will be passed or even if it is likely to. Government Planning to Vaccinate 100 Million People in 2021 the federal government plans to vaccinate over 100 million citizens against COVID-19 disease in the long term. 
Federal Minister for Information Fawad Chaudhry has revealed while virtually addressing a seminar the minister said that over 20 million citizens will be vaccinated in the short term while 70 million citizens will be inoculated before the end of the year the country wide mass vaccination campaign is progressing steadily as 1.8 million doses of covid-19 vaccine have been administered so far since february He added that China and Russia remain the only two sources of COVID-19 vaccines for Pakistan because the US and India have imposed a ban on the export of COVID-19 vaccines. The federal government has ordered 30.5 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines from three Chinese pharmaceutical companies that will soon reach Pakistan to augment the ongoing mass vaccination drive. Pakistan has purchased 20 million doses of CanSino Bio's single dose vaccine. 5.5 million doses of snow farms vaccine and 5 million doses of snow vax vaccine the minister concluded number of shops markets hotels seized in karachi the city administration on tuesday came in action against the violators of covid-19 standard operating procedures as a number of shops markets hotels were sealed across the city till further orders DC Central Karachi said that the actions have been taken by exercising section 31 since epidemic disease act 2014 Thank you for watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel This is I Ashkan see you in the next bulletin until then take care and goodbye